M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So here we are, Bofeng AAAS, and we've got a Hubnet Micronode made by G7RPG. I'll just show you the back of it. So this comes, this is the way this unit comes, and if you look at the back, let's just move, this is a Bofeng AAAS, as I said. If you look at the back here, you can see that everything you need is there, the node number, the frequency, and the tone for your radio. Any analog radio will work with this device so we'll just um we'll reboot it i'm just going to quickly show you the control screen and then i'm going to reboot it and show you how you configure it here is the control screen so you can you can select one of these tiles uh just just runs off your ip address which the which the device gives you uh or you can use supermon and you can use any all star node number so let's go back to the device and re and act like we've turned it on for the first time we've just received it so it comes with a, a power cable, it's just 12 volts. I've got it on my power supply for now. Um, I actually find it works with a normal UV5R power supply, but anyway, uh, it's inexpensive. So let's unplug it, plug it back in, and you'll see that it will cycle through some different colors. So at the moment, it's, this, just, this means it's like booting. It means that the Raspberry Pi is active and doing some work. You can get these with different color LEDs. Um, orange red and blue and they change this one is quite clever it's got one led built uh, which changes color inside is a 70 centimeter antenna so it works on 70 centimeters now let's turn this up and we'll hear it talking and it will tell us what ip address to put into our browser to actually find uh this all-star node made by g7 rpg ip address so the led what goes red one nine two dot one six eight dot zero dot one zero zero so now i'll select the tile now you can do it by dtmf uh, the node number on this is um four one five two two so you just put that in dtmf and it will connect because and you can pre-program DTMF. So I can't remember if you can pre-program them in a boat in this triple eight, but you can definitely do it in most analog radios and all all UV five Rs. But for now, we'll just use the tile system. I'll just show you on the computer. So we're just going to go here and connect Hubnet. Eight U B N E T connected to M zero F X. There you go, and when you key, you'll get a noise, but I'm going to put a call through for an audio check. Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo, M0FXB, calling for an audio check on Hubnet. And there you go, go it went green when I was TXing there. So when it, it's TXing the box, it will... There you go. Zero FXB from 2D0 MUP. Yeah, you're sounding pretty good, Andreas. Uh, I'm currently mobile, so my uh, audio ears aren't the best at the moment, but you certainly sound loud and clear, like your normal self. Uh, uh, there you go. And inside is a Raspberry Pi, a CM108 sound card, and one of these radios. And look how good the audio sounds. 2E0... I yeah, very nice to catch you again. I know we've worked a few times. Sounding really good. And I'm, already, I'm just on a Bofeng AAAS with a, a G7 RPG node doing a video sort of test uh, for my channel. So thanks very much for that. Perfect audio from you. Back to you. I'm getting in via the GD7CA digital repeater on DMR and uh, using the Anytone 878 uh, UV Pro 2, all the numbers. <laughs> right, mate, uh, I won't keep you. 7-3 uh, for now. Uh, M0 FXB, 2D0 MUP. M0 FXB. Just a quick question for you, Mark. So I know you've been using the system for a few months now. How much has using the All Star system and Hubnet improved your hobby? Uh, back to you. Two D zero MUP uh, returning. Yeah, I mean it's really since I got the RPG nodes um, that. 
my use of HubNet and a few other places has really kind of blossomed um, to say. Uh, DMR is pretty good, it's nice and versatile, it's good for going portable if you can take your hotspot with you, but uh, back at the home GTH, I think the quality that I get from the uh, all-star RPG nodes is, uh, is superior uh, to the DMR, and I think the setup is a little bit uh, more enjoyable as well. I don't have to go using different networks like Brownmeister, TGIF and Phoenix just to get onto the different talk groups that are supported by those networks and maybe not by others. Whereas with All Star, I can just simply dial in anything that's on All Star, and it and it works. The audio is great. So um, yes, I think it has significantly improved it, and uh, I'd recommend the G7 RPG node to anybody. Um, hope that helps. M0 FXP 2G0 MUP slash mobile. And best to leave a three second gap. Yeah, thanks very much, Mark. And, and I pretty much knew the answer you were going to give because I completely echo every word that's, that you've just said. And I'm just chatting with a, a friend of mine who's he's not sure if he wants to use, uh, you know, use this system. And I keep saying to him that the Hubnet and the Node system will completely change how often and how much you enjoy um, amateur radio. And we both know why, because we, we're already doing it. Right, well, I'll stand by. Thanks very much for that. Catch you, uh, catch you again soon. M0FXB. 7-3, all the best. So there you are. That pretty much explains it all. So I've made this video for MW0SAW. 7-3, all the best. Please like and subscribe my channel. Yeah, no